Welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. Okay, so the first card you've got is the Sun card, which is such a, a lovely card, which means that there's a lot of success coming in, a lot of enlightenment, a lot of clarity coming in, but it came in after a lot of hard work. And you know, there's a lot of celebration. You've got that three of hearts, which is the three of cups. So there's something that you're going to be celebrating as well. Uh, and, you know, good friendships as well that came in with this particular job. So hard work is paying off for you. Now you've got the park over here, so you might be meeting a lot of people and uh, you know making a lot of contacts as well, business contacts with the park. Uh, this is about you know big gatherings, big social events, or big business events that you are attending, where you meet a lot of people, uh, make a lot of friends there as well. So uh, a lot of collaboration coming in there. And you've got uh, the tower card over here, so stability being set down over here. Um, end of a very, very difficult situation. You've got the uh, ten of uh, clubs here, which is like the ten of rods, which is about, you know, having gone through a lot of problems, a lot of difficulties, and overcoming them. And now that is, you know, coming to an end, that cycle of very, very hard work and success coming in after that cycle of hard work. The sun card is also talking about, you know, success after hard work. Now, in the past, uh, you know, money has come to you, and there's a lot of stability that has come to you with that uh, fish card, as well as, you know, you've got that four of um, hearts over there. So you might be, you know, considering even taking on something new, new projects, uh, or new options being made available to you. You've got the ten of hearts, or the, uh, the bouquet over here, so the end of difficulties, and something being presented to you. So this is, uh, you know, almost like a gift. So some kind of new opportunity being presented to you, uh, and it's going to be something really wonderful or it was something really wonderful it's in the past position so going into the future it looks like you're cutting ties with an old job and you're moving on you've got the ten of diamonds so the end of a, a difficult work cycle or even just the end of that particular job that you're doing you've got that uh, sickle and um, you know it's a sheaf of uh, um, hay there really so you know you have there might have been a payout as well with this particular job that you've had because you're taking that bale of hay, hay there but you've, you, it seems like you're cutting off uh, you know, um, ties with that particular job or you're leaving that particular job and moving on. It's come to an end, it seems, or you want to do that. Uh, there is a lot of recognition coming in for you here with this merit card. Uh, so there's a lot of success. You might be thinking of going on uh, your own or doing your own business, uh, you know, being self, self-employed, self really. Uh, there's a lot of recognition and a lot of success coming in with that particular card. So something is changing, an end of old cycles over here, uh, and, you know, um, a lot of um, um, success coming to you with that merit card. So those are the energies for those two weeks. So I'm going to be just using the Ramses Tarot for the main read. So you've got the high priestess over there. So you could be spending a lot more time with your children because uh, there's a lot of children in this card. There's some kind of choice you have to make, uh, some kind of decision. But this could be that you're deciding to do some further study or further training uh, in your job uh, or improving your skill set. The high priestess rules, um, you know, she's the keeper of knowledge. Uh, so this could well be that you're planning on doing some training, some further training. And maybe this is going to give you a lot more free time to spend with family as well. So uh, something uh, going on in that aspect. It also says that, you know, you need to rely on your gut instinct when you're doing things. And don't divulge a lot of information to people. So keep whatever you're doing, your plans, uh, really keep it secret. Keep it to yourself. Uh, and don't go around telling people how you want to do things and what you want to achieve. It's important for you to keep mums the word. And also, um, you know, it's a card that says, um, wait. Um, you know, you have to wait for divine timing with this particular card. She rules the moon, and it's the moon cycle card, really. So waiting for things or changes to happen. They will change for the positive. But you're going to have to wait. Don't be too proactive in what you're doing. 
So that's what's going with you. You've got that six of pentacles over here and you have got the king of cups. So it looks like you've been working pretty hard for your money there, working very late hours, doing a lot of work, multitasking. So you've been taking a lot more responsibilities than was necessary. You're an expert in everything that you're doing, uh, whatever, you know, you know, you know, this business backwards and forwards so you're very very good at what you do but working very very hard to accumulate the money and you know maybe being monitored by somebody as well with that person keeping score there now you've got a, uh, an, a choice here that comes in with this king of cups uh, so there's some kind of uh, options that you are considering and you know there might be some study as well that is involved with this so uh, you're weighing your options over here and you're looking at these these choices that you have. So something coming in as a choice that could be offers coming in for you or making a decision about what you want to do next or, you know, deciding whether you want to do any further training or further study. So that seems to be coming in. And with that High Priestess card, it looks like there might be some further training that you are considering or going back and uh, uh, learning something further, maybe becoming an expert at it, doing some further training. So in the past, you've got the devil card over here. So there's some obstacle to your progress. So something is standing in the way of you, um, you know, going forward or climbing up that uh, ladder of success. And maybe this is the reason why you're going to have to consider doing some further training. Uh, the devil card is by being restricted or being manipulated by people around you as well. So maybe this is the reason why you're not making any progress, because maybe they expect you to have certain, uh, you know, um, level of um of training and you need to go in and do that in order for you to move forward but it is standing as an obstacle for you to move forward so it's something that you need to overcome you've got the five of one so you have been working in a team of people maybe you're having uh you know different ideas uh you know you have you have been taking a leadership role in that team as well uh, but with that five of wands, there could be a little, you know, a bit of pettiness going on, a bit of petty arguments coming in uh, there. Uh, and maybe people not listening to you um, as far as an authority figure. So uh, they could be, um, you know, causing, uh, you know, discord, uh, the people that you're working for. So although you're in a team, there might be a little bit of problems within that team that you're working in. So what's in your mind? You've got the Queen of Cups. So you are considering this new offer. You've got this woman, uh, you know, focusing on this cup here. And this might be about an offer that you're considering or it, because here you've got that uh, card of trying to make a decision here uh, between uh, two options, a choice there. And she's really, you know, focusing on the one cup. So one of these um, options available to you is uh, more attractive than the, the other. And so that's why you're, you're looking for some kind of guidance as to which one uh, is important, which one is going to bring in the abundance over there. So you're thinking about it quite carefully, or you're, you, you know, you're considering this particular option quite carefully. And this might be even an um, opportunity to study. So you are looking into that uh, and uh, trying to get some kind of insight, trying to make a decision on that. You're very focused on it. You've got that light illuminating that cup. So you are very focused on that decision that you're trying to make. So going into the future, you've got the Three of Wands. This is beginning a new project. It's going to take a lot of hard work, and you're going to be working with uh, somebody as well. Uh, and you can see this uh, that pair of oxen and this man and this woman working together. It's starting something brand new or working on some kind of project that you've just started. Uh, you're planting the seed, if you like, and you've got that sun rising over there. So it is starting to uh, produce uh, fruits, really. Um, and this might also have involved, uh, you know, a lot of uh, planning uh, that you had to put into place. Uh, it's quite something quite stable. And it might have involved uh, you traveling a lot or meeting a lot of people or meeting foreign people, uh, you know, um, really collaborating with a lot of people on, you know, uh, that you don't usually work with. <coughs> but putting a lot of effort into that particular project. So you've got the Nine of Swords over here. You're very anxious about it. You're worried uh, that, you know, if you don't... Um, perform according to a certain way, you, you're going to have your head chopped off. You can see this man's head's been cut off. It's a very gory card, uh, but you are very anxious about it. You can see all these people standing in a line over here waiting to have their heads chopped off. So, you know, it, you feel as though your, li your, your job's on the line here. And if you don't uh, perform according to the way they, you know, people want you to, you're going to actually lose that job. So there's a, it's a very high anxiety state that you're going through. Um, and there might be somebody around you that is, you know, um, very much a bully, uh, you know, uh, they, they will do it and they, they don't even think twice about it. 
Now, you're working very, very hard. People do see you as a very, very hard worker. This is how people are perceiving you. Uh, somebody who's, uh, you know, making slow progress, but making progress nevertheless, and putting a lot of effort into it. And, you know, you're very organized, uh, very determined, uh, very practically minded as well. That's how people are seeing you. So you've got the lover's card here, and this is about making a choice or make, having a choice that you have to make, uh, making a decision really, uh, picking an option. So you have some options available to you, and you are trying to make that choice. Again, with that king of cups, trying to make a decision, uh, you know, and worrying about it or what decision to actually make. That's in your hopes and fears. Now, the final outcome and... and uh, the future, really. You've got the Seven of Pentacles over here, the Seven of Swords, and uh, the Four of Swords. So the Seven of Pentacles, it's about needing some kind of financial assistance, financial advice, support as well. You might need some support as well. And it looks like you will be getting it. Now, you might be you know, you might be spending money uh, with the house in the background over here. It's maybe you're trying to get a loan to buy a home. Uh, with the Seven of Pentacles, it's about yeah, he's asking for help and people are giving it to him. So there's somebody that is going to be helping you out. Uh, you, you know, it could be information that they're going to be giving you. She's giving him bread, uh, something that you can actually use. Uh, or it could be even financial uh, assistance that's going to be coming your way. You've got the Seven of Swords over here. So there's assistance in both cases. You've got the Seven of Swords over here, somebody coming and rescuing you from a, you know, a situation that's pretty difficult. You've got all these crocodiles in the water over here, and this woman's coming to get this man out of that difficult situation, and a new cycle beginning over here. This person feeling very, very despondent. There was a lot of problems that they went through, a lot of drama, a lot of conflict, and it looks like this woman is rescuing um, this person from this particular situation so whatever you're going through it looks like there's that assistance coming in somebody giving you a helping hand but there's also financial assistance coming in there for you and you've got that four of swords so you might need to cut your losses and move forward this is a card showing sacrifice there there's been a lot of drama a lot of conflict going on and you might need to cut your losses and move on there could be some legality also that you've been facing so some kind of legal situation or official situation but you can see this man's cutting off this leg so you might need to actually cut that situation out and move on this four of swords is you know after going through the conflict of the three of swords the Four of Swords is retreating from that situation, getting a new insight, or getting a new uh, plan of action, getting a new strategy in place in order for you to move forward. So you've got to come up with a new idea uh, on how to get over whatever difficulties you've been going through. So uh, you might need to cut your losses and just move. And it looks like with this woman coming and taking you away from the situation, uh, you might just need to leave it and walk away from it. So I'm just going to draw some cards from the uh, Fairy Tarot. Okay, so the first card is the strength card. So you really uh, have, the, have to have the grace and the inner strength to overcome the challenges, a power of kindness and forgiveness, and time to embrace how wonderful you are. So you have the uh, inner strength to actually deal with the situation. You need to take control of it. And you need to make some nice big bold moves as well with the strength card. You need to act more like the lion than the uh, lamb. And so don't be a lamb in this situation, you know, roar like a lion. And you've got the nine of summer over here, which says wishes come true, dreams fulfilled, and a magical time in life. So there is somebody that's going to help you get through the situation, and you are going to be able to get whatever you want, because this is the wish fulfillment card. This is the nine of cups, and this tells you, you know, you will get the satisfaction you need. The four of spring over here, this is about setting up roots and stability. You've got this big castle in the background over there. Be grateful for all uh, because you have much to celebrate and a contented personal life. So you're putting down roots. You might even be buying a new home with this four of spring. And maybe this is the reason why you're going to be needing that financial assistance. You can see that home in the background over here and he's asking for help. So you might be taking out a loan or a mortgage as well to buy a home. Um, and, uh, you know, even in this fourth spring, it's about, you know, getting that uh, stability. So you might be buying a home there as well. But there's something that you will be celebrating over here. And there's a lot of stability that is coming in for you. There's wishes fulfilled, but you need to act with confidence. And that is the most important thing. So it looks like things are starting to move on. You might need to just cut your losses and move. Um, and there's somebody that's there that's going to give you that assistance if you need it. Um, you know, somebody coming to almost rescue you from it. And, you know, just keep going as far as your job goes. It seems like you're making progress, even though it might seem you know very slow and you're going to have to work very hard you're going to be very very busy soon um so you know no time to sit uh sit down and and be worried about things you do have that option available for you maybe possibly for study um 
and that is going to be something that will enhance your skills and uh, maybe allow you to come in with that uh, for a promotion in the future. And try not to be too stressed about things. You've got that nine of swords over there being just really worried because things are moving, even though they're not moving rapidly, because the uh, high priestess says, wait, you know, things will go your way. Um, just take it one step at a time and be calm about things. So I hope that this reading has resonated with you. And please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and leave me some comments if it has. And thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.